Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 12th, 2020. Hey everyone, I want to apologize for last Friday. There was no morning market prep video, as you know, um, and it was due to a Windows update that just totally devastated all of the sound system in my computer. Um, it took me until um, almost midday to get that corrected and get it fixed, so I apologize for that. This morning, well, let's see, we had a pretty good day on Friday with the bulls pushing things up, but we have an interesting morning setting up today, something we haven't seen for a while, a flat open. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have something we haven't seen for a while. No big gaps. Um, we have futures really pointed to a flat open, and they were pretty much flat um, overnight as well. Futures just kind of bounced around between bullish and bearish right around that flat line pretty much all night long. And we're still there this morning with little or nothing for the market to react to this morning and a big week of distractions that could keep us, um, well, um, on edge. So first off, what do we got going here in the technicals of the chart? Well, if we take a look at the diamonds, we can clearly see that the bulls are in control. They've managed to maintain a nice upside trend here in the chart and um, they continue to hold. However, that control seems to be solely based on the hope of a stimulus package. And right now we have Congress, in fact, Nancy Pelosi, Speaker Pelosi said that um, at this point in time, talks are at an impasse. Uh, the president has increased his offer to $1.8 trillion. But now he's kind of ticked off both sides of the aisle. The Democrats um, uh, are angry because it's not enough. The Republicans are angry because it's too much. So who knows where that's going to go. And we are going to um, also face some pretty big distractions this week. We'll talk about that in a second. But as you can see, we have um, a market that's holding up bullishly. And if we took a, take a look at the technical patterns here, um, our 50-day moving average is looking good. But notice that our shorter term averages are still trying to cross up the 34 the 20 still trying to cross up we are providing a pretty good area of price support in there should we pull back but there are some problems with this and that is that we are really stretched out here in this price action with very little um, at least for the first part of the week for the market to react to so let's take a look here at um, the SPY. What's going on in the SPY? Well, SPY, we have kind of an interesting day here going on as well with um, lots of movement. We've had tremendous gaps and leaps, leaving lots of gaps behind in this market. And once again, we're all fueled up on the hopes of some kind of stimulus and whether or not Congress is actually going to get it together to make that happen. So lots of open gaps and really nothing to, to support that um, in um, price support except a big push lower. So if we were to get some bad news, just watch out. We could really dump pretty quickly if that sentiment starts to uh, fail here just a little bit. Uh, keep in mind we're a long ways away from any kind of stop in this market and that could make it very volatile if the market happens to come up disappointed in any way, shape or form. Let's take a look at our NASDAQ. Now our NASDAQ also rallied up pretty strong on Friday, finally really kind of breaking through some resistance in the chart, pushing up. So we're showing some strength in here. We got a little, little tiny price resistance um, area up there. But this, this week we're kind of facing a, a very weird week of uh, distractions 
And it's hard to know how this will actually come out. What I do want to point out is just remember that if we do get some kind of news that says that the deal is struggling or something like that, we could have that emotional response that could move us really quickly lower because we left so many gaps behind on the way up. And the same thing here with IWM. IWM also very stretched in its move to the upside. But the good news is that it kind of broke through a major resistance area here in the chart. First time we have seen that so far this year, breaking that major resistance. So now it's gonna be really important for this to hold up here. Any rest or pullback, we're gonna to need to see that hold price support in this, this area in the chart. Keep in mind, we are very stretched away. Notice how far away we have removed ourselves from that 50-day moving average in any of the moving average support in the chart. That means that we are very susceptible to any news-driven report that could reverse that sentiment really quickly. So make sure that you're prepared for that and have a plan if that market were to shift lower. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX finally on Friday broke its 50-day moving average. We haven't seen that for some time. Um, finally broke that 50-day moving average. We've been stuck underneath that 200 and held up by that 50, but we finally broke that down. Now what's going to be important is to see if we can push this on through back down. And this, this may start making a lot more sense if we can drive this lower. However, what doesn't make any sense to me is the actual condition of the market with jobless claims going up, with the jobs numbers not being very strong, and um, our debt just absolutely shooting through the roof. Um, um, we're pushing to new highs, but we have a lot of issues and problems in our economy out there. So um, it may be it may be difficult for fear to drop out of this com completely. Um, particularly with the uncertainty that we have as we head toward the election. So keep an eye on that. VIX has been acting very oddly for some time now and may continue to do so. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And I gotta tell you, this provides me the biggest level of concern right now. Uh, T2122 is pegged. We are at the top of the range. Um, that means that we are extremely stretched out here in the market. It means that we have been, we've pushed and gapped and pushed and gapped on hopes and we still don't have anything to confirm those hopes except more uncertainty. That puts us in a little bit of a dangerous place here where we could easily catch any kind of a news, um, news report that is somewhat bearish, I guess, or adding to that uncertainty and we could see a quick drop in the market. So don't be surprised to see a little bit of resting pullback. Now, please keep in mind that even though I'm pointing this out that we are at the top of the range, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to absolutely collapse or fall. We could stay range bound up here for a period of time. And we've seen that before um, in the chart where we just kind of strung along here up in this upper area for a while. But eventually that ended up resolving itself to the swing lower. So just keep that in mind. We still have that potential of a significant swing lower in the market. Let's watch it carefully. And because we have so much uncertainty, it's going to be really dependent on how those that news cycle uh, comes out and, and how the market sentiment holds up to that. So let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a lot of things to distract us this week, and not much of it's going to be on the economic calendar. But let's take a quick peek. Here on the calendar today, we have virtually nothing going on today in that calendar. You can see we have a Fed speaker. Um, I doubt we learn anything more from that. And we have a relatively light week. You know, we do have CPI and PPI. Those are certainly important events, but we're probably not going to get a whole lot of price action movement in all of this until we start getting over here um, later in the week. So kind of a light week um, as far as that goes. On the earnings calendar, we have no confirmed reports today. However, starting tomorrow, we will start 
the second quarter or fourth quarter earnings season with several of the big banks like uh, Citibank. Um, we've got JP Morgan. Um, we'll hear from J and J tomorrow. We've got Fastenal tomorrow. Delta Airlines, um, BlackRock. I think. Um, reports tomorrow. So we'll have several of those big reports starting to come in and that could create quite a little bit of intensity and volatility in the market. We'll want to watch that closely tomorrow. But today, with the bond market being closed, we could have a rather boring, um, quiet day in the market. Now, for some of those distractions that I was talking about, first off, we have um, a Supreme Court nominee, Supreme Court hearings beginning today. I suspect that will distract Congress from being able to get anything done with the stimulus bill. And we can expect an awful lot of um, Washington spin coming out of that. Um, so kind of pay attention to that. That distraction will be um, present. And then on Tuesday, despite the beginning of earnings, we also have a big distraction with um, the iPhone release, the new version of the iPhone coming out. And uh, one of the Morgan Stanley an um, analysts said this could be one of the most significant phone rollouts that the company has seen in years. So that might be interesting. We'll want to keep an eye on that. That's certainly a distraction. And then we have Amazon Prime Day um, this week. And I suspect, um, there will be an awful big focus this week on online shopping. So we have Wednesday and Thursday with the Amazon Prime Day and lots of retailers joining in, tagging along on that um, sales event. So we can probably expect quite a little bit of uh, trader distraction as they're out there trying to sweep up some of those online deals that will be, um, well, It'll be busy all week um, in that with Amazon's two-day event, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So kind of keep that in mind, lots of distractions. Add in the uh, Supreme Court hearing and um, er earnings events, and we've got ourselves a week that could be pretty darn interesting overall. Let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully guys, you see that these videos are a little bit different than what you might see other places. I don't get involved in the idea of predicting um, direction of the market. What I want to do is take a good close look at the technicals of the chart and determine how I want to approach the market market for today. And after so many days of gapping and zooming to the upside, I'm a little bit cautious today. And um, if you guys find these kind of videos helpful, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Um, leave a brief comment. Helps the, the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does that. So let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And remember that um, when I do this, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And um, you also want to make sure that you never, ever blindly follow someone else's trade, that you stay focused on the price action of the chart. Make sure that these charts fit you personally before you make any decision on any trade. Now, one of the things I'm going to be looking at this week is with the focus, uh, such a big focus on retail and retail sales, I'm going to be keeping an eye on Walmart. Now, Walmart is a trade that I already hold and I added to this trade. In fact, I've held this for a long time. So I may have a little bit of a bias on this. I had even uh, um, laid out a potential bull put credit spread last week uh, for members of Rightway Options on this. But if you take a look at this chart, we're holding up pretty well. And it'll be interesting to see with the sales events how the response um, comes. But as you can see, we've got a pretty good technical pattern in here for some upside move in that chart. Keep a close eye on Walmart. We'll probably also want to keep... Um, 
and I on Amazon. Amazon um, sometimes reports how sales are going, um, things like that um, as the event goes on. So keep an eye on that. Amazon looking very, very strong. Anticipation of that event has been strong. And um, well, we'll see. We'll see how we go today. Notice that we're gapping up this morning um as well this this candle here is for today's price action so we're gapping up this morning on amazon in that anticip anticipation of those events other places that you might want to look notice that dollar general has been incredibly strong moving up now i wouldn't want to chase this at all i think a rest or pullback is due here before a re-entry um, you might want to kind of keep an eye on that watch that closely if we take a look at um, um, other um, retail out there like target target would be of interest we might want to keep an eye on that target has been very very strong any rest or pullback in here could also set up um, an opportunity so with all those sales events on we might want to keep an eye on that now switching gears here a little bit keep a keep an eye on uh, Darden restaurants Darden as you can see very nice move up here in this chart following this beautiful upside trend and I've got a price alert right here on this chart any rest in here um, that continues sliding over to that trend just really strengthens um, this potential entry on a trade. Watch that closely. If this can gain some, um, some kind of bullishness in here, react to that support and trend, we might pop Darden right on through. So keep an eye on that. And as you can see, there are some resistance levels in the chart nearby that you'll want to pay attention to. But we're cert certainly looking very bullish in this chart. And earnings not out here until 12.17. Plenty of time for that chart to potentially move up. Take a look at NIO. NIO is um, also something that I may have a bias on because I've already purchased this stock. And I'm watching this closely as we continue to slide out here. Now, I don't know. I've got a trend line on here. I don't know that that is the trend yet. We could consolidate several more days or um, weeks even out here sideways. But what I'm watching is this hold of this support in here. Notice that we really have no sellers in this chart. Just a lot of back and forth. We obviously have no buyers here either. But since we're holding up in a trend, I favor the upside. And I'll be watching for that next upside move here in NIO. Looking pretty good overall. Keep a close eye on it. Might have some interest uh, for you. Take a look at VMware. I was mentioning VMware last week to keep an eye on it. We had these rising lows pushing up underneath this price resistance in the chart. And this was my price alert right here, that pink line. And as you can see, we pushed right on through that straight up. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this. Um, I think we're a little bit stretched out in the short term and probably need a rest or pullback. As a matter of fact, we're approaching a resistance level in the chart that's rather significant. So kind of keep an eye on this. If this can rest or pull back in here, move back into trend, we want to look for that next opportunity here for VMware. Keep an eye on that. It's looking pretty good overall, kind of breaking um, that downtrend and breaking those resistance levels, trying to move higher. Take a look at W Day. Now, W Day had a nice little pop out of my alert here and then has settled back and rested here. So we pop through this little upside trend, resting over here. Watch this in here for that next opportunity for that to move on up and maybe test this high up here um w day acting pretty bullish bullishly watch that chart um nike has been extremely strong and i would say not to chase this one right now it's stretched up here pretty good i think the next little consolidating rest or pullback might be the next opportunity in that trade so watch nike um, holding up very, very well. Also probably going to participate in some of that retail sales event this week. CRWD. CRWD has been a nice looking chart. You can see this thing moved right on through. We had an alert here on that chart, moved on up, sliding over to trend. Watch for that opportunity for this to continue to move up and follow that trend higher. CRWD 
looking very, very strong. You might also want to take a look at some of the pay systems stocks. You know, say for example, Visa. Visa, MasterCard, um, American Express, PayPal, um, SQ, SQ uh, might be a place to look this week with so many people buying online potentially this week. Um, these guys could benefit pretty well. So you can see Visa has been kind of um, pushing this resistance level in the chart. Let's watch that carefully. We also have this little bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern that is formed up here on Visa. So if that can gain a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of bullishness, we might see that pop on through, move to the upside with all of these sales going on. And you could look the same, the same um, with MasterCard. You can see there's that inverted head and shoulders that happened in here, breaking through some resistance, pushing on up. So you might want to keep an eye on those charts. Pay systems could be um, something to pay attention to in the days forward. A lot of other stocks I could potentially cover, guys, but I'm out of time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. Be safe out there, guys. Those COVID numbers are starting to percolate back up. Um, watch that carefully, and I want to see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, tomorrow morning, bank earnings starting. So it could be a big change from this morning's open to tomorrow's. Watch that close. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all soon tomorrow morning.